Um, it is expression. Uh, today is the art program, so um, I'm going to be talking about creative things we can do today. Um, and I figure things are all stuck at home, um, we might as well use some of the stuff we got at home. So I'm going to be recycling and showing you how you can repurpose some stuff. Um, and so, you know, I thought I'd start with drums. I mean, everybody knows that, you know, I do a drum beat program and we use these djembes. Um, djembes are actually a North African drum and one of the first drums um, in the history of drums that I know of. Um, this one's a plastic shell. It's got um, a taut skin across the top. And then it's got a resonant chamber, so that's a big hole inside of it, right? It's hollow to allow the sound to reverberate and sat inside. So what is sound? Well, sound is really simple. Sound, well, I say it's simple, but sound is simply air moving. So if I just give this a... I can actually feel the air coming out of the end of the drum as it moves, as it reverberates out. Um, so that's how you can hear the sound. So I've got a whole heap of things. That's got a little tight sound because it's a smaller chamber. It's a little bit higher. Did you hear that? That's kind of interesting. Now this one's got holes punched in it already in the bottom because we were using it as a planter. So I'm interested. What sound? It's kind of cool. Kind of interesting. Um, then I've got a... This is a 75 cent bin. Like a bucket. If you can't... If you can't find something at home, budget beaters or something like that, one of your two dollar stores should have a 75 cent bucket. And let's hear this one, let's see what it sounds like. It's kind of cool, I think that's how you hit it half the time. Um, it's the feel that you give. And then I've got the bass drum. So I got myself a big bin. Let's see if I can put it over the mic here, hang on. That's the kick, baby. So that's cool, so I've got all those to work with. Um, I haven't decided which one I'm going to make yet. I'm just going to chuck these all in one big noisy drum roll, please! Excellent. Percussion stuff too, so if you don't want to... You want to mix it up a little bit, I imagine, with your drumming. Um, so I've got, um, I've got a tambourine. Which is kind of cool. Not too loud, shouldn't scare the neighbours Shouldn't scare the neighbors too much. Also, because I had kids, I hung on to some of their stuff. So I've got like these shakers. Which is kind of cool. Got an egg shaker. Um, and for percussion, you can't go past a good pair of coconuts. I could lose hours doing that, I really could. Um, so there's some stuff, right? That's what I've got. I've got some noise making devices. Um, so if we were going to turn this into a drum, decorated a bit. It's been a bit dusty and dirty. Um, and so that's what today's about. Art, right? Making our drums look cool. Um, I found a few, so I've got those plastic ones. I found some uh, water bottles, which are cool. This one's a new one, a very new one. Um, this changed the shape and design. It doesn't have the handle on the side anymore. And the sound is a bit tight. Like, let's try it. Seems quite thin to me as a sound. Um, so I'm not sure about that one. I did find, when I was at Eddie's, one of these old school ones with the handle in. These are the classic sort of water bottle that I grew up with. Um, well, I didn't grow up with water bottles, I grew up with milk bottles, but anyway. Um, okay, so uh, this one, let's have a listen. So this one has a much better sound, I think. Hear the resin, does it resonate really nicely? harmonics in there. Did you hear that? There's two tones going at once. Uh, so, anyway, so I've got stuff that you probably like Pringles tubes. Um, I've got some ice cream containers. You can use that as a drum. Um, I've got a whole heap of different things like for shakers. So I've got some lead weights for fishing, which we could put. Um, you know, some of you guys have just tins rolling around. Like, really simple, quick instrument. So there's a rhythm in there. Kind of cool. I got this um, Duff beer nuts can, which I got for Christmas from somebody. Um, and I've got a whole heap of like just metal stuff. Like um, these are just clips, just me metal clips. Um, I just happen to have a lot of them kicking around. So you could use any of the nuts and bolts out of the equation. It's kind of cool. Um, I do have all these nuts and bolts 
um, that we can drop into something if we want to make another shaker. I've got some spray paints in case you want to paint it up. Um, I've got a whole heap of paper and colored paper here. Um, so I'm going to make a drum. So I'm going, to, I'm going to use this one. This is definitely the one I want to work with. Um, and at the end, I'll show you some examples of other stuff we can do. Um, this is we're going to be cutting with paper, cutting with scissors, cutting paper with scissors, um, and gluing mainly. Um, a little bit of tying with some materials, maybe a bit, a bit of taping. Careful when working with scissors. Um, you don't want to cut yourself, so use at your own risk. Um, and if you're having trouble, get a parent to help you. Uh, if some things, a second set hand is sometimes useful when you're using, when, when taping and, and putting stuff down to get it just right. Um, but let's go ahead, let's make a drum. So I've just got some plain paper and some double-sided tape, and I'm just gonna put some around the edges of the bottle here. And I'm gonna measure the distance apart. That came out at 30 centimeters. So I've cut that into two lengths because I had to create the circumference, which you'll see here, I started to measure the circumference with the off cut of tape that I had left over. Um, once I measured that round, I was able to take the tape off, put the paper on, fairly straightforward. It wasn't the best join, so what I did was uh, I got some of the green and I decided to make some V's out of it. So I measured the circumference so I could calculate how many V's would be an even shape. Uh, and then I just replicated that um, on the other side of the paper, just using the original one as a template, which you'll see me do next. So after I cut these out, um, you see I make a template out of one of them. Then I just use a bit of uh, the old print stick glue and some more glue stick. Um, and I just glued that in position uh, just to hold it in place. I didn't need tape on that one because paper to paper, the glue's pretty good grip. So I had to make some bridging pieces to make the full circumference. Then I had some cool green tape kicking around. Okay, so we made some drums. Um, I focused on this one, which was on the big bottle. Um, I gave it some green and purple. So I thought it was nice. Left the top clear so you can get that resonant sound, which is really good. I quite like the harmonics on that one too at the moment. It's quite nice. Um, took this one. This one was just straight up wallpaper, just as an off cut. So we went through Crockers and they do, you can buy $5 um, old wallpaper um, books. So we got some stuff out of there. So that's kind of an interesting pattern. Just a bit of old gaffer tape, just straight up there. Um, I did this one, I filmed this one meticulously and carefully and um, forgot to press record. So um, here's the end result. I'm very proud of it. Um, yeah, of course, there's a little high tom. And then this was our 75 cent bucket. Um, and we used material on this. We just put layers of material and just stuck that down. So it's kind of got a tribal kind of funk kind of vibe, like kind of thing that George Clinton would wear. But not me. Um, okay, cool. So we did that, we made a little one of worlds too, so that's got that nice little high sound. That's like a herringbone sort of a no what is it, like a fish scale kind of pattern and that's kind of cool where it catches the light. Okay, so we made some instruments. Um, I made some shakers earlier. That's a dumb shaker. If you guys want to make some shakers or drums, I'd love to see them. If you can send me some pictures or video would be better um, of the sounds that you're making, that'd be really cool. Um, yeah, send them through. We're at Eddie's underscore Ingadeen. That's on uh, Insta and uh, on Facebook. Eddie's Ingadeen, I believe. Um, but you'll find us. You know where we are. Um, cool. So we made a whole heap of things today. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about rhythms, things. We've worked on drums today. Let's talk about rhythms tomorrow and rhythms that, that are around us. And uh, on Friday we'll talk about... Well, we'll take these drums and we'll talk about beats and how to make beats um, and probably some basic notation. But... Uh, it's going to be fun. So I look forward to seeing you guys then. Drop some notes in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to know how I'm doing um, and that you guys are enjoying this. Uh, hopefully, again, we'll get to see each other soon. Um, missing you guys and hanging out at the center. So take care. Make some drums. Bang on. Peace out. 
So hopefully you guys have created some of your own work now and we'd love to see it. So if you can uh, put it up on Insta, we'll share it via our Instagram page. We get to see it and like it. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, whatever it is you need to do. You know what you need to do. You've done this before. Okay, cool. Thanks guys. We'll see you next week.